Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will see how you can create a Hello World page using MVC Python of Django. So here, I have already installed Python using Python hyphen hyphen version. I am using the dot world dot switch system. Now I am going to install Django. Since it has already been installed, so it is coming. Requirements are already satisfied. Let me clear this out. Now I am going to create a project using Django. So the command is Django hyphen admin start project then the project name. So I will name the project as my project. So this will be created at the given path. Now I will go to the my project reading CD, and I am going to create an app inside this. For that, simply to pull out the app, I need to provide a command Python manage dot py start app then the app name. So let the app name be my app. Now this project has been created. Let me open that project. This is my project. Let's open in this window only. Now as you can see. This is my project. Inside that, you have this my app as an application. The main project is this. That is my app, my project. And inside this, this is settings dot xml. This settings dot xml contains all the installed application. These are the Django application already. It comes by default. Now I'm going to provide the application which I created. That is my app. So this is my application name, and I provided inside the settings dot py. Since settings dot py contains this my app, and it will automatically be rendered using The main project. Now I'm in the view part. This view part contains the backend code which needs to be rendered or which needs to be executed while calling any URL. So I created a function, hello world, and now I'm going to return to HTTP response just a dummy data. So here I'm going to provide return HTTP response, and inside this HTTP response, I'll provide value of hello world. So when I'll provide this HTTP response here. It will automatically come to the hello world method and go to the view which is currently just the default data only. That is hello user as of now. Now this view part is already created, so I need to map this to the URL. So for mapping the URL, I am going to create a URL dot py inside this application. That is my app application. So I will write URL dot py. I need to import few things. First is Django. So Django will import the URL path, and this will be import from the path. So from URLs path will be imported. Now from views, I'm going to import hello world, which I have already created in the view part. As you can see, inside this view, I created this hello world. So this I'm importing in the URL. Now I'm going to provide the URL patterns. So for that, URL patterns is equal to the all the URLs which I need to mention. So the path will be let it be the default path only. So I'm not going to provide any extra string part. So this will be the default in which hello world will be called. So name of the view will be hello world. So this URL is now created. One more thing is pending. That is the URL which I created in this my app. I need to provide in this main project also. So in the main project, I'm going to tell that inside this also include the URLs of my application. So this I'm going to provide one more pattern that is to include the URLs of main application. Here I'm going to provide using path, and the path will be include, and what to include? The include the application dot URL path, where the URL is pending there. So this is the my app inside. This this is URL. So I'm going to say my app dot URLs will be all the URLs which will be imported in the main application. Now. Things are clear. We have already included the application. We have already included the URL. Now let's start the application. For starting, we just write Python manage dot py and then migrate. Even if you are not using database, you just need to write it just once only. And now to start an application, migrate dot py, then run server. So our server is started at this. Particular IP. Now let me copy this IP and let's paste this in the browser. It says HTTP response is not included. Let's go to the view part. We need to import HTTP response in, instead of render. We will use this render also in coming times. So now we have included the HTTP response. Now let's go to the URL. Let's reload it. We have this hello user. This was using directly the data. It acts as a kind of API only. Now we need to provide the template that's it. HTML code or some other front-end code which needs to be provided 
as a view part. For that, I'm going to provide a folder. I'll name that as templates. So whatever there will be, all the view part will remain inside the templates folder only if you're using Django. That is by default. You can change this path also, but by default, it goes in the templates only. So here I'm going to provide an HTML file. I'll name this file as index.html. Or as of now, let's go and create hello.html only. And now let's create a header one. And inside this, let's create hello user. And to call this hello.html, let's create one more view. Let's copy this part. And before that, let's provide the render also, which we were about to use. And I'll provide the hello user. And let the request will be passed here. And here, instead of HTTP response, I'll provide the render. And inside the render, I'll provide the view part. Here, the view part will, will be the hello.html, which we have created. So I'll say request will be going. And where it will be going? It will be going to the template hello.user. Hello.html. So hello.html will be the file of view. This I need to provide in the URL also. Let's create another path for a user. So I'm going to provide an, another path. Let's provide the path as hello. And also, hello user will be imported here. The another view which we have created just now. So let the path will be hello and hello user will be here. Let the uh, URL and now this hello world is there. Hello URL. We have by default hello world and then hello hyphen will come in the end. So let's provide the hyphen in the end part only. Yeah. So as you can see, this hello user is coming from the view part. Now by default hello user is coming, and when I'm going to that particular hello URL, it is going to the view part. See hello user is this. So let's change it to hello world. Hello world will be coming by default. And when I'm going to hello user by default, hello world was there. And if I'm going to hello, then we we'll go to hello user through HTML tag. We can also provide the HTML tag in this particular response, which I'm going to create. If I provide the header five, so with this, we can also do instead of going to the template. If I reload this, as you can see, this hello world is coming. So in this way, we have seen how we can create MVC pattern using Django framework in Python. So as you can see, this is the app. This is the main project. Inside this, we need to provide this application name in the settings for PY to include the application, whatever I'm creating. URLs will contain the URL part, which is there in the my app. These all URLs will be included. And this URL will be called, and it will go to the view with the same name, which is there in the views.py. So as you can see, this is going to hello user and hello HTML is being called. This is how the model view controller pattern is working for this dummy project we have seen for the hello user. Thank you all for watching the video.